hello guys welcome so let's start this course open up your IDE now open up your browser and just type this URL which is github.com slash coding cafe one slash VPN underscore app press enter and it will redirect you to this VPN underscore app here just click on this code and download zip I will download it as you can see it is downloading now so once it is downloaded completely go to your downloads folder where it is downloaded and cut it from here and I will move it to my desktop here it is okay this file you get when you download it as you can see that it is a compressed or you can say a .rar zip file so you have to right click on it and then winrar extract here or you can click here on this extract all so it will basically extract this on my desktop okay which is the default location so I will just click on extract and it is going to extract this compressed file on my desktop as you can see that so it has been extracted successfully then if you want you can delete this zip file now this extracted folder if you open up we have this VPN app man that because this folder is extra folder you know that inside it the same project folder is basically this one okay this is the required project which we want to download inside it we have all these files so what we need to do we need to rename this so let's rename it to VPN underscore app okay just like this and we move it we can move it to our desktop so cut it from here and move it to the desktop like this and just delete this VPN app man okay which is an extra folder created while extracting so anyways let me show it to you okay the one which is which contain these files this is our required project so open up your IDE and in your IDE click on open all you need to do is on your desktop inside C drive and then inside the C drive users and then your username and then on the desktop we have that project which is by the name VPN underscore app this one okay you can open it up by this by clicking OK it will open up inside the Android studio or if you want a shortcut then the shortcut for this is all you need is to drag this VPN app inside your IDE inside the Android studio and leave it here okay so when you leave it here it will open up that VPN underscore app inside the Android studio this is the shortcut simple method so anyways now when it is open make sure that project is selected and then if you expand this lib we have main dot dot default code as you can see and it will show you that dot sdk is not configured so all you need to do is basically to provide to it your flutter sdk path how step by step please follow me now click on file and then click on settings then languages languages and frameworks here you see this flutter click on flutter and here you will see flutter sdk path so click on it and in my case my flutter sdk is inside my c drive flutter okay so i will just choose flutter which is basically my sdk okay so i click on that and then i will click ok and then i click apply and click ok so my flutter sdk is recognized okay so it will show me these that is click on that get dependencies to to install the required packages so it will remove the errors from your project so the project is imported successfully in your laptop or in your computer so let's install this default app and let's see what we got here that is either it is running or not we have just the default code that is it will display us hello world message
so here you can see the app is running now and here we got the hello world which is just this message at the center of the screen and as the default theme we apply on it that is the theme which we created for it is by default it is dark we provided to it of course as you see in the introductory video of this course we will uh, apply two themes the dark theme and the light theme and it will be to it will be according to the user choice okay which the user can switch between light theme and dark theme so anyways this is just the default initial theme of course we will implement that dark theme and light theme step by step or now we just uh, test our application that is either it is running or not so it is running successfully on our phone 